Hi everyone, it's Lindy on here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today we're going to make this cute little puffins card and we're going to be coloring using the Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers. So let's go ahead and get started. So all of the stamps and dies we're using today are from Lawn Fawn and we're going to use this cute little stud puffin stamp and die set. And then we're using the lighthouse and the two birds and that's from the Life is Good set. Next, we're going to grab that larger camera, and later we're going to be using that sentiment smile, and that's from the Ocean Shelfie set. And also that little word bubble from the Love Letters set. And the last one are the two clouds from the Smooth Sailing set. For paper, we're using the Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth Premium White cardstock. This is a 100 pound cardstock. And for ink, we're also going to be using the Spectrum Noir, the Finesse Alcohol Proof Dye Ink. And so this is going to work really well with the alcohol markers that we're using today. So I'm going to go ahead and ink up these stamps. I'm going to stamp a few more clouds and one more of the little birds there. And then for the little puffins, I'm going to stamp those two, and then I'll also stamp one more of those as well. So now that we have the stamping done, we can go ahead and attach the coordinating dies with a little bit of purple tape and run those through the Sizzix Sidekick machine. Now for that word bubble, I'm going to go ahead and stamp that sentiment, the smile sentiment. And I'm going back to that same ink and I'm just going to stamp that right in the center of this word bubble. Now these are the tri-blend markers. So you get the three colors in one marker, the light, medium, and dark. And this is the dark red blend. And I'm going to start with that lightest color right on the end there. Then the mid-tone is in the center of the marker. And then the dark one, you flip it around and it's the darker color. And then I'm going to go back to that light shade and blend everything together. So I did that all the way down the lighthouse. And then for this top part, I'm going to do basically the center the lightest. So I'm going to add my light color, then my mid-tone, then the darkest color, and then I'm going back to that lighter color again. To do a little shadowing here, I'm just taking a regular spectrum noir pen this is the bgr1 and this is just a really light kind of a blue gray color and then with the citrus blend i'm going to go ahead and do the light on the lighthouse again the light medium and then flipping it around and going to the darker color but i did want to add a little bit of the coral shades the lightest one from this marker just right along that edge and then I'm just going to take the lighter color of the citrus blend and blend those together and I'm just blending in towards the center there adding a little yellow to each of those windows with the ice gray shades I'm going to do the door and here I'm going to keep that darker color down towards the bottom And I'm going to use this same color here right at this, this part of the lighthouse here as well. And in this case, I'm keeping the center the lightest. Now to do the little puffins, I'm going to use the ice gray blend, the ice gray shades, the pale pink blend, the dark red blend, and the coral shades. So I'm going to start off doing his little feet here. And I'm using the coral shades. I'm using the light, then the medium, then the dark, and then I'm going to come in with a little bit of the dark red blend right up at the top there under his body. Then going back to that lighter shade of the corals, I'm going to blend those out. I'm going to do a little tiny bit on the beak here, right at the tip of the beak. And then with that BGR1, which is that light kind of blue-gray color again, I'm just going to add a little bit there on the tummy and around the eye and then just kind of blend that out a little bit just to add a little shadow there. Now taking the ice gray blend, 
I'm going to go ahead and do that little tip on the beak there, the, the little second section of the beak closest to his head. And then with the ice gray shades, I'm going to do the little puffin. And I'm just going to kind of saturate the paper here with that lighter color. Then add the medium color. And I'm going to keep the top part of the little puff in the lightest. Adding that darker color and then blending those together. And on top of his head there, I'm going to add a little shadow right at the very front. So that's all set. I did the other two off camera. I'm going back to that BGR1 and just adding a little shadow around the sentiment. And I'm going to use that blender pen and do the same thing. Just kind of blend that ink a little bit here. I'm going to do the same thing for the clouds as well. Just adding a little bit of that blue gray here and there. Now with coral shades, ice gray shades, and dark red blend, I'm going to do the camera. Using the coral just around that center part. Adding a little bit of the darker color. And then I'm using the ice gray. Keeping it darkest off towards the left side here and then pulling it off towards the right. And then for the camera itself, I'm going to keep the center the lightest. And I know I've said before, but I do love these tri-blends. They travel really well. You get three colors in one marker, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. And the work is done for you. All the thinking is done for you. Um, they blend perfectly and they really work well together. And here you can see all of those colored in. Now using the Strathmore Bristol Smooth 100 pound cardstock, we're gonna take the largest die from the outside in stitched rectangle stackables dies. And I'm gonna die cut two of those. Then I'm gonna grab the little pond here from the stitched pond die set, and the sun as well from the spring shower set. I'm going to run the sun and the pond through my die cutting machine. And now I'm going to create some waves. These are the stitched simple wavy borders. So I've got that panel that we cut two of before. One I've set aside and this one here I'm going to cut the waves out of. So I'm going to cut that largest one about halfway up. Then I'm going to flip the paper around and cut that middle size wave about just up about a couple inches. Just so that one will sit just in front of the other one there. And you can see that there. Now I want to create the sand and a little rock for my little puffins to stand on. So for the sand, I'm going to use the pond and I'm just going to turn it on its side here. And I'm going to take my largest rectangle die that we used before. I'm going to tape it in place and I'm going to die cut a little bit of, uh, I'm going to use this to create the little sandy beach. And then later we're going to turn this and create that little rock for the um, lighthouse to sit on. So there you can see that creates a nice stitch border around the bottom and the side of my sand. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to create a nice stitch border on the bottom and the right side of our little rocky uh, platform for our lighthouse. So I'm going to go ahead and run that through. And now you can see those will sit just like that. So I'm going to color in the sky. I'm using the speckled egg dye ink. This is the regular dye ink. This is a brand new color from Tim Holtz. And this is not the oxide ink. So, but it will blend beautifully. We're going to blend this out. 
And then what I'm going to do is try to create a little shadow, a little bit more of a shadow down towards the bottom here. So what I'm going to do is load up that applicator with plenty of ink, and then I'm just going to pounce that color on. And I'm going to let that dry a little bit, and then I'm going to pounce on some more color. And I can keep adding color here until I get the effect that I want. Now, Peacock Feathers, Mermaid Lagoon, and Blueprint Sketch are the colors I'm going to use to do my little ocean waves here. And I'm simply going to just add these colors just kind of in certain areas, just kind of little areas of color. And then I'm going to add that blueprint sketch and just kind of blend that together a little bit. And these again are the mini dye ink pads from Tim Holtz. Then I'm going to take my distress sprayer, which just has water in it. I'm going to spritz that and that's going to give us a beautiful spattered effect. I'll do the same thing for this second panel. Now with brush corduroy and tea dye, I'm going to do the sandy area. I'm starting off with the lighter color, which is the tea dye. And then I'm going to add a little bit of that brush corduroy right along that top edge, just to look like where the water would meet that sand there would be a little bit darker. Now I'm putting a little bit of that brush corduroy on my glass mat. I'm taking the liquid stardust, which is this beautiful glittery liquid, and I'm going to put a little bit right on top of that ink that I laid down. So that'll create sort of a glittery um, spatter here. And then I'm just spritzing a little bit of water in that. I'm grabbing a small paintbrush. I'm adding a little bit more water there. And then I'm going to spatter this panel all over. And that's going to give a little bit more of a sandy look with that beautiful sparkle in it. Now with black soot and hickory smoke, I'm going to do this little rocky ledge for our lighthouse. I'm going to do that lighter color all over. Add a little bit of the black soot just around the, the right side and the bottom there. And then using that lighter applicator tool, I'm going to blend that out. Now with ripe persimmon and squeezed lemonade, I'm going to do this little sunshine. Putting that lighter color all over. And then just kind of putting that right in the center there. That ripe persimmon. And then using that foam applicator tool of the squeeze lemonade, I'm just going to pull that color out towards the edges of the sun. Now I've got a standard A2 size card, top folding card, and I'm going to go ahead and attach the sky panel to the front of that card. And an A2 size card measures four and a quarter by five and a half. Now I'm going to add all my little elements here, just laying everything out. And I can go ahead and attach these as well. I'm using my ATG 700 tape dispenser to do that. This is a permanent tape. And I'm just lining everything up. Now for this little wavy border, I'm going to lift it up just a little bit here. I just wanted to get it a little higher up. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach that sandy border. To add the sunshine, I'm going to use the glue tube from Lawn Fawn. I'm just going to add glue all over the back of this and then attach it to my card. Now what I want to do is grab my scissors and cut away any excess there. For the lighthouse, I'm going to be popping this up. I'm using a little bit of the Scotch foam mounting tape. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that up and then I'm going to attach the clouds. Just a couple of these, the, the smaller one then here, the little bit larger one. This one I'm going to attach with the glue and then the smaller one that I'm going to place in front of it, I'm going to put a little bit of foam mounting tape on that one just to give it a little dimension. I've got these cute little birds, so I'm going to put that largest one in front closest to us and then the two smaller ones in the back. Now for this first little puffin, I'm going to tuck him right in the waves here. 
This one I'm going to pop up with some scotch foam mounting tape. And I'm going to pop this one and the little camera up as well and also the sentiment. And I just love the idea of this little camera. I think it has a lot of possibilities. I thought this would make a fun little scene of them playing in the water and taking pictures of each other. And this would make a great card for anything, just kind of a generic card. So using my Uniball Signo gel pen, I'm going to go ahead and add some highlights to all these little items here. And you can see how that just brings everything to life. I'm going to add a little bit to the tops of the water and I'll add a little bit to the tops of the sand as well. Then I'm going to add some little white dots in the sand, just some little white specks in the sand there. Again, just adding a little bit of texture here. Now with my Nuvo Aqua Shimmer Pen in the Glitter Gloss, this is just a clear shimmery pen, I'm just going to add some little sparkle in some various areas on my card here. So now that we have that, I'll give you a closer look at the card. You can see how cute this is. I love that speckled egg color. I think that's one of my new favorites. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit me at pinkwhisperdesigns.com. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.